going in the car right now and Harmony has a, a way about her. She just wants to like, no, charge into the car. And you know, the car is also a threshold. So remember what I said about thresholds, going through any kind of door. I want the dog to be calm and orderly. Nope, I don't want her popping up and going in on her own accord. I want her to wait for me. Look, good girl. Okay, come on girl, come on. Load up, good girl. We'll do the same way when we get out. Um, I just want her to be nice and orderly. And I'm gonna tether her up with a leash that I have hooked to my seat. And I'll hook that to her flat collar. And uh, the goal is to have her in and down the entire time that we're driving. So usually, as soon as I start moving, the dog pops up. So I just tell her down. And if she doesn't do it on her own accord, I give her a little e-collar stem. Obviously, if you're driving, you need to be really safe about this. Um, but to have the e-collar on her, have the transmitter with you, and then just give a little tap with the red button and say down and then uh, this way your dog is calm the whole ride and you don't have to worry about you know an amped up dog when you get to your destination um, this this is reinforcing that calm state of mind that we're always trying to achieve good girl harmony so I just arrived home we're at our destination I want harmony in a down when I open the door nope Good. She had already popped up when we pulled in and I just made her do it down and I, I have the e-collar if she doesn't follow through with just a verbal command. So I've got my coffee, I've got my bag, and I need to get my dog. And that means I need her to be orderly when I get her out of the car. So I'm just gonna unhook her from her, I got a travel leash on her. I always have a leash on my dogs when I travel. All right, kiddo, come on, break. Come on, baby. Come on, break. Good girl, nice. And that's what it should look like when you're rolling home and you get to your destination. Come, good girl. Sit, sit, out. So she just ate something and I just hit the button and said out. Nope. There you go. I had to die really high to get her to pay attention to me down Super. good how many come yes sit good girl down no down holding 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 dial up just in case she didn't follow through. Good. That's what it looks like. Out. Good. See how she spit that out? Down. Nice follow through. Good. See how I kept myself neutral? Kept my voice neutral. Just raise the level of the e-collar if your dog is not following through. We don't have to shout. We don't have to get frustrated. The e-collar takes the frustration out of training um, and it takes the stress out of it. You just dial up and go back to it. Come. Good girl. Place. Good. She should automatically down for you when you put her on place. If she doesn't, you need to use the e-collar to get her to do a down. You should be able to walk away like this. If she happens to pop off, you would correct that at a higher level than what you're usually using. Her working level inside's, you know, around a two. Harmony, come. Good girl. Place. Place. Good, she auto down. That that's awesome. And she does know that this carpet is a place, so it doesn't have to be an elevated pet cot. Um, it can be like a carpet, it can be a folded up beach towel, or you can just simply do a down stay. Come, good girl. Down. Her job is to just chill out. I don't want her sniffing the carpet, licking the carpet, chewing a bone or anything like that. This is just her duration work. 
If you do this every day for 45 to 90 minutes and supervise her, make sure you hold her accountable to stay put. This is going to go a long, long way for developing her calm state of mind.